Well, it's January 23rd of 2018, and I thought it was time for an update on my Green Mountain lines. Most of the scenery is done right now, and of course we're operational. Here's a road switcher just coming through the back streets of Rutland, Vermont. And heading over towards the yard in St. Johnsbury. We've got two main lines we can use here, and he's taking the back way all around the back of the layout. Past the Eyed Feed Mill, which is an iconic building in Rutland. Sorry, in St. Johnsbury. And let's just keep following that train around. There's the Eyed Mill there. And the Colbeck Cosgrove building, which is right in front of it. Just tonight I've been working on some backdrops over here in St. Johnsbury. I think that's going to be a street going through town there. Did some more backdrops over here in the industrial area. And this is our new diner. The donut shop. There's some more industries over here. And also a few nights ago I was working on the back streets of Rutland. To make it a little bit more believable. This is the house scale building, which is one of the first buildings we did on the layout. And it's got a uh, power track there for layover power. And this is Allen Lumber, which is another local industry in Vermont. Here's this wave freight passing through, we'll watch him go. I'd say this is probably the most scenic I've ever had any layout, and it's great to have a New England theme, a Vermont theme, with some iconic scenes that I've always wanted to capture and scale. This is the blue seed, sorry, blue seal feed mill over here in the corner. And these are some industries, Sacco Steel, Permacon Concrete, and an as yet unnamed paper mill. And here's the back of Sacco Steel. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. I think you can see a lot of progress has been made and we're uh, switching and making up trains and dealing with interchange. So that's exactly what we want to be doing and running trains, of course. And as this video concludes, we'll just watch this one one more time. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Trackside Treasure or Facebook for more updates. Bye for now.